Hi guys and welcome to a brand new video about myself, Bates 87 You guys may have just woken up to the fact that England or uh, UK are leaving the uh, the Euro, which is a little bit annoying, but we're going to get on with it because EA have announced a brand new league going into FIFA 17. It's not the Chinese Super League yet, guys. Um, I'm still hoping for that one to come, potentially the Qatar League as well. Lots of leagues I do want in the game, but EA have secured one brand new league, a league which used to be in PES, not sure if it still is, and that is the J League, which is obviously the Japanese league, which features a lot of sick kits Sick, ba sick badges and also some returning players to the game. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 6,000 likes, guys, for a brand new league coming into Ultimate Team 7, well, in, into FIFA 17. Anyway, that'd be absolutely awesome. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So on the screen now, guys, you can see EA's tweet of what was confirmed. I'm going to run down the list of all the teams which are added into FIFA 17 uh, when the game is released. And I'm probably going to butcher a lot of teams' names as well. And uh, I don't really know much about these teams either, as I presume a lot of people won't because it's not a widely broadcasted league over the world, um, but there is a lot of new teams coming in there. So we're going to run down to Fulham now, guys, so you guys know. We've got Vigalta Sandai, um, no idea who they are. We've got Kashima Antlers. Now, the uh, is it Antlers? Yeah, Kashima Antlers, which are actually, I think, have won the league three out of the last four times, and uh, that, that's a pretty decent team to look towards. They're probably going to have the highest rated players when it comes into the game. We've got uh, <laughs> Iwaya Reds, Omiya, these names, my god, I don't even know why I'm doing this uh, Kashui Racel, FC Tokyo uh, Kawasaki Frontal Yokohama Yoko, Yokohama, uh, Marinos Shonan Belmare fucking hell, this is absolutely bane of my life, he's pronouncing it pronouncing these names um, but if you guys want to go and do your research guys, really recommend going to have a look I will leave a link to EA's uh, post about the uh, new league so you guys can go and see them, um, but it's mainly the uh, Kashima Antlers, which are the, are the best team in the league looking at Wikipedia and looking at the website as well it looks like they do walk away with the league and I think they're joint top currently as well maybe one point in the lead so it's an interest I, lo I love the new stuff coming to, into Ultimate Team into FIFA 17 there is one thing I am going to point out and throw out there now guys and you guys will have noticed that current uh, during the period of FIFA 16 which was the Brazilian League now the Brazilian League is a weird league to get a license hold of um, one of the reasons being a lot of clubs you got to do it individually you got to do it individually with the players to get the license in and one thing you may have noticed guys this year there was no upgrades in the Brazilian league there was no informs from the Brazilian league and I think EA potentially are probably going to look to ditch the Brazilian league it doesn't make much difference one of the things it does do is add a lot of players into packs and this league will do the same as well it adds a lot of players into packs it drops the pack weight of you trying to get the bigger and better players and uh, fills it up with more consumables i.e. kits badges etc etc so even though we are getting this league I presume we are potentially going to lose lose the Brazilian league because of the fact there was no informs it's a really weird situation to be in but I'm happy about this it's the first league of uh, FIFA 17 announced it's pretty early on as well I presume there's gonna be a few more um, announced before games come as well in August um, but let's go and have a look what potentially the league is gonna bring to us for Ultimate Team so first of all guys and you guys will have seen this earlier on in the week the best kits now like the Japanese the Asian leagues have some sick kits sick badges as well and you can if you haven't seen the badges which we'll have seen on the first screen guys these are the kits to go with it now I'm not sure on when they do release the kits because I was looking on football fashion which is obviously where the new league kits do go and these were posted in January, February, March which means the league has potentially just started or something like that which means these kits it's going to be like it's going to be similar to the MLS where they have the old kits for a majority of the game and then when the new game comes out they've got the new kits which are then become the old kits after a couple of months it's going to be like that I think but there is some sick kits uh, as you can see there guys this purple one and the white one are the same team very nice looking kits I think the purple one is my favourite without a shadow of a doubt. That's one I'm definitely going to use um, in Ultimate Team next year. We also have another yellow one there, Adidas, with uh, different trims. Looks pretty sick as well. And there's a lot more kits to look at. So we have an Adidas one as well, which is blue and orange. I think there's a kit like that anyway, currently in the French League anyway. We've got uh, an Under Armour one in the uh, in the middle as well. A lot of bright colours in this league. And uh, also a different shade of blue one for Jubilo Iwata. Yeah, I'm not even sure if I said that correctly. But um, three more new kits to look at. Very tidy. I hope, I presume that EA will have these kits in the game. I can't imagine them being unlicensed because EA have grabbed the league of not, it's like the Bundesliga, EA have got the league of the Bundesliga, the Premier League, I think they've even grabbed La Liga now as well and this is the fourth full league confirmation as well. Um, so I presume they will have these kits and badges. The final screen as well guys is some more kits and we've got a nice blue one, Nissan sponsored, Toyota sponsored one there. 
And I think in the middle, you can see there with the white and the red and the black kit, that is the antlers kit. Uh, nice looking ones as well. And then the final one is uh, some more night kits as well with different colour coordinations. So that was a rundown of the kits, guys. So let's go and have a look at the potential players coming back into Ultimate Team. So the majority of these cards, guys, are the last given rating, which was in Ultimate Team uh, when they were last in the game. We've got Endo, who has a brilliant free kick that I do remember. Very, very, I think that's going to be a solid card. Probably a little bit lower. I think the majority of these players are going to be silver, um, but a few low rated goals as well. We have uh, Gayu in there. We have Makino at right back. Papa Papa Dupalus, uh, as well, the Greek guy in the centre-back. He was a reasonably fast player in Ultimate Team, I do remember. And the Brazilian Cortez as well, with a funky hair. So that's the first five returner. I think we've got two more screens to look at. So next one, guys, we've got Nilton. Currently in the... Um, actually, I don't know if he is in the game this year. I know he was in the game last year. We've got a team of the season. Nilton's a very good Brazilian uh, silver card, and he's going to be back in the game as well. We've got Nakamura. It's actually Nakamura with the brilliant free kick, in it? So, yeah, that's him. Got him confused. Uh, he's coming back. We've got <laughs> that guy whose name I can't see. I uh, can't say, sorry. I'm not going to butcher it. I butchered it already. We've got Jay Bothroyd as well, an English striker, Silver, coming back into the game, and uh, Kono as well, the Japanese centre-back. So three, uh, I think we've got one more slide of players to look at, guys, but if you guys have seen any which I've missed and do obviously watch the J-League, feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you do think about some of the players coming back in. And the final three players, which I think a lot of you guys will be looking at, is Yutaka, currently like the MVP of the J-League. Uh, looks very nice, top goal scorer as well, currently as well. We've got Maeda, um, as well, the Japanese striker, and Sung as well, uh, a Korean CDM. So they're the, like the standout players which I've looked at, guys. I could be missing some. A lot of people are saying Diego Forlan, but I'm pretty sure Diego Forlan isn't in the J League anymore. Potentially, we might see him come back in another league, but until then, I don't think it's going to happen. So, guys, there's one more bit of news as well which has come along with the J League. Let's go and take a look at it. We also have a brand new stadium as well, guys, which I presume is going to be a card which you guys can activate in Ultimate Team, and it is the Swato City Football Stadium, Gambo Osaka's stadium. Looks very nice. EA have obviously gone all out on the stadiums previously in Ultimate Team and uh, this one looks pretty sick as well. So not only have we got the players, we've got the kits, we've got a new league, we also have the stadium as well for you guys which like the stadiums and different looks and feels in the game. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like rate and subscribe to me if you are not subscribed already and uh, if you guys do know any more information about FIFA 17, feel free to drop me a tweet which is at Bates in 87 and potentially it may make it into a video but this one's a confirmed league guys, no bullshit hype about it, no, no, like, like there's no confirmation about any other leagues coming into Ultimate Team but this one is fully confirmed by EA Sports FIFA and if you guys haven't seen EA's tweet definitely go and check it out and for more information on what's coming from the league guys definitely go and check out EA's link which I will leave in the description because I butchered every single team's name at the start of the video but you guys if you do want to go and see what teams are in the game feel free to go and have a look at EA's post so guys do like, rate, and subscribe or not we'll be back another day another video for you guys to enjoy